Check this out. How cool is that? Little show. Now it's time for us to move on down the trail. Making our way through these mud hills. See the coyote up there? Nice healthy coyote. Well, let him be. I don't want to make him too nervous. All right, here we go down this sandy hill. Pretty darn sandy. There's gravity to help us. Ski down. When you continue on the trail, you're going to come across these signs here. This is called the Ocotillo Wells. Back here is the boundary for the Anza Brago State Park. So we're actually leaving the park right now uh, because our next destination is not in the park. So let's see what this says over here. Tool wash. Pumpkin patch one mile, lost lizard trail, crossover trail, freedom trail, pole line road. Aerial Golden Wash and East Boundary. Ocotillo Wells. All right, we're one mile away from the pumpkin patch and that's the surprise we want to share with you. Okay, so now that the secret's out, let me describe the pumpkin patch to you. Uh, Basically, what happens is a little sand or a seed will be in the ground. And over the years, pressure will force other pieces of sand and dirt particles together. Eventually, it will make a ball which we call pumpkins. And they can get quite big and quite heavy. Now, in this area, just outside of Anza Brago State Park, there are a lot of them. So we have to find the entrance to them, and then we'll go from there. But uh, we're in Ocotillo Wells and Tool Wash, okay? See if we can't find this place. Pumpkin Patch Trail and Tool Wash. Always a lot of people here. Alright, let's check these out. You see? Uh, these things are being formed. Some of them are rather round. Really look pretty cool. Come
coming out of the ground like this and then eventually as it gets the ground gets eroded away these are exposed into different shapes but they call this the pumpkin patch now how cool is this check this out This is a popular place, huh? All these things started from a seed or a piece of sand and then grew into these. And they're even beyond this protected area, all the way out in there. This is a really cool natural phenomenon. Eventually, the cold, the ice, and the weather will break them apart and they'll disintegrate like a lot of the broken ones are. But initially, when they first are exposed, you can look at this one here, right here. How this came right inside there, which is probably where it originally started. And the seed that it started around has decayed and has disappeared. Some of them are pretty large, and yet they're still pretty fragile. How cool is that? Scotch with these jeepers a few times now. The leaf or whatever that game was. So now we're going to take the crossover trail and head south. This way. This is what the crossover trail looks like as we drive through these taller mud hills. You have to watch out for side-by-sides and uh, the more off-road type vehicles because they come here through here pretty fast. So you just got to keep an eye out for them. But you can see that it is a very narrow trail, crossover trail. Flying like the eagles. Maximus. Hanging out with the beasts. Maximus is next. How cool is this?
time for Maximus to take us home. Okay.